Right now, the traffic is still coming and going, and the DOT estimates that they will be able to reopen this MLK northbound exit ramp and the lane that was closed on Ramsey Street by 9 o'clock tonight. Now, this is the second sinkhole that we've covered today out here in Fayetteville, the first one being the one that happened over on Rayford Road near 71st School Road. Uh, the DOT says that they're hoping to get that road fully reopened within the next 30 to 60 minutes, and as crews have been out here on the roads, uh, you know, just working on these repairs. The DOT has been telling drivers to get off at the Bragg Boulevard exit instead as they're driving along the MLK freeway. That large sinkhole that happened over over at Rayford Road happened at the intersection with 71st School Road. Again, that's where a big rig and a Fayetteville police officer fell inside. And Fayetteville police say they uh, that officer is okay and didn't sustain any permanent injuries. Uh, but the DOT says that this flooding incident came right in the middle of their construction work at that same location that started last year to improve Rayford Road's storm drainage system. And we are building our infrastructure to be more resilient against larger storms. We've seen that with hurricanes, Matthew and Florence. It's not going to be a setback. It is a one day, um, you know, you, a project of this scope takes two or three years and sometimes they can get ahead of schedule. Sometimes they fall behind schedule. The DOT says that in addition to this sinkhole only having a minimal impact to Rayford Road, the westbound side of that road has since been reopened. And also, uh, Duke Energy says that most of its customers that lost power as a result of last night's storms here in the Sand Hills have gotten it back, except for about 60 customers across Cumberland and Moore counties. Crews are still working to get their power back at this time.